What's good, everyone? This is your boy, DJ's Raw and Cut Truth. Give you that raw content that you deservedly need. And before I start, I want to thank everyone for supporting my channel. We're at a thousand plus. I just monetized it. Uh, it won't be complete until a couple of days because there's a reviewing process. But thank you all for supporting the channel. It shows me that you want and you want to listen to real deal content you don't want to listen to these um emotional commentators and espn undisputed a uh, bunch of uh jigaboos you want to listen to someone who breaks things down who keeps it unbiased and that's why i strive to put out content this is a hobby for me and it's something i like to do so thank you all the topic today will be about the reason why I do not get my information from Ball and the Family. I don't take it seriously. Uh, it's a reality show. You know how reality shows work. It's no different than um, the shows these women listen to, watch, Housewives of Atlanta, or any of these reality shows uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. I don't take it seriously. So, on Ball in the Family, the recent episode, Zoe comes back from the bubble. And Zoe talks about how he misses his family and he was thinking about his family. And I truly believe, not an excuse, because a lot of players like Paul George and others were suffering in this aspect. I, I truly believe that Zoe missing his family was why he stunk it up now is it a legit excuse no and also the rhythm he's a rhythm player so if he's not in rhythm he starts to not play well that's another topic for another video but what caught my eye was lavar ball and the media's going with it because they just pick up a clip. I told you shines a long time ago. And when I say shines, I'm talking about the ones who are not objective, who are hating on his sons for no reason, and going off media Reddit. You shines. I told you shines. LeVar already knew about Puma months ago. That's why when he went on these interviews in the summer and, and they were talking about what about uh, if your son signs with Puma or Nike and he will smile, he said, you know what, you know, we'll see what happens and stuff. He knew what was going on. I truly believe that LaMelo and Puma had a deal in, in February. Do you not know how to co connect the dots? Remember DKM made a video about LaMelo possibly signing with Puma? I made a video, my old video, that I used to have my old channel. I made that point where Jermaine Jackson and LaMelo Ball was on a Puma jet. This was in February, late February. Are we gonna forget? And you mean to tell me that LeVar didn't know that whole time? It was set in stone. It was set in stone. Also, Corey Homicide Williams. I believe it was like January, early January. Or late December. Stated that there were rumors of LaMelo getting a private jet and a hundred million dollar sneaker deal and you mean to tell me that LeVar Ball didn't know that whole time are you that gullible really you have the obsessive Ball family hater Ticket TV making a video off of fake news LeVar heated with LaMelo leaving BBB man he knew about it. DKM even stated it. He had DKM in his show. 
and he still put out the fake news. This is what I'm talking about, what's missing in independent media. Objectivity, research. These YouTubers have no IQ, they don't do their research, and you get these fake talking points. It's ridiculous. So all I'm saying, if you're not DKM, if you're not AB the Hero, if you're not even ball facts, if you're not those guys, and if you don't do the research, then no one to talk about it. It's, what's the point of saying something you don't even know about? Literally, DKM made countless of videos stating that LeVar knew about Puma. This is how showbiz works. This is how reality TV works. And to see Shines fall for the okie doke is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's hilarious. But this is why my channel is rising and others are just, they're stuck at where they're at. They've been doing YouTube for, sep for, for a decade, for 10 years. And they're still stuck at what, 70K or 100K, they can't even get a million and, th and that's their full-time thing. Whereas me, this is a hobby, but I still do my research. It's funny how that works. All praise to the most high. Shout out to the real ones. Peace and blessings to everybody.